I'm loving the daisies underneath this crab apple. Lovely contrast of color. Scabies are up there. I don't know if you can see them, the blue ones. This red oak is doing lovely. And look at this beautiful tufted vetch. My trees, my trees, I love my trees. And St. John's wort and the red clover. Look at them together. Wildflowers, beautiful. Anyway, the fencers are coming and they're gonna start on that gate right there, the blue rope gate, but I've gotta get the sheep in. So magic bucket is gonna be put to good use. Oh, there's a lot of them are right here. Excellent. Hey ladies. Hopefully there aren't other ones way over there and that they're all here under the trees. Look at that. Hey ladies, you good girls. How are you, Kestrel? Do you want a handful? Special treatment. No, no, not my fingers. There we go. <laughs> okay, the rest of this, I'm gonna pour in the troughs and let you guys in. The horses think they're getting some. I've got to bring them in as well. You No, you're not getting any of this food. You have different food. Okay, this takes two hands. I think everybody's here. You look like everybody's here. Yeah, is everybody here? Oh, Kestrel, you're on that. Okay, I've got to do this now. One, two, three. There we go. Okay, now I have to lock them in here because I don't want them, when they're working on that gate, I don't want them to get in there. And when they're working on the gate over there, I don't want them to get in the woods. So I have to lock them up and we just busted the gate or rather the sheep and me did. Okay, ladies, I know, Castrol. No, the bucket's empty. Look, it's completely empty. You guys have to stay there for an hour or so. I know, it's just not fair being a sheep sometimes. See, I'll be seeing you anyway as I'm walking around doing the fencing or helping the fencers. Oh, hey, kitty. How are you? You beautiful kitty. Yes. You beautiful boy. Yep, and it's the dogs. Okay. See you later, sheepies. Horses are anticipating me. It's just after 7 a.m. And the lambs are going to be moving into this field after the fencers have come and gone. So they'll be moving down the hill to there. But um, the fences are fencers are coming. Any minute now and one of the gate posts they're doing is if you look at this gate you see that post there is leaning that way and I have to put that little gate in it's a combination to make sure that gate closes so they're gonna be replacing that one but that one is fantastic hopefully that'll be there for a long time so this has to have a new Gate hanger, uh, not a gate hanger. That's the hanger, and this is the closing. So this apparatus, I hopefully won't need anymore. The horses are ready to gallop. Aren't you? You ready to gallop up the hill? You have to back off, because I have to open the gate. Go on. I don't have the dogs because the fencers are going to arrive any minute and I don't want uh, the dogs to uh... go on. They know where to go. So the yos and lambs were the first ones in with the alpaca.
and the horses right. just galloped up. Isn't that right? You beautiful girl. Yes, you beautiful girl. The horses have a bucket of feed for temptation to make them come up. Hopefully they'll only been for about an hour. Okay, just back from putting the horses in. I've got this chicken wire that I found and I need to put it along that fence because that plantation is being grazed through the fence by certain people. So I've got my quad ready for when I have to rush around opening other gates and fences for the fencers. So this is my job while I'm waiting for the fencers is preventing the sheep from grazing the seedlings in here. See, some of them can go over the top. And this spindle has been decimated uh. by the sheep. Let's see, there's a Gilda Rose there, that's fine. It's, they love the spindle. So hopefully I have a long enough piece to stretch to protect the spindles and the rowans from nosy parkers and their nibbles. Now I've got to stretch it out. This is going to be the fun part. Yay! Fencing's over. Come on girls and boys. Out you go. Go on. I still don't I haven't let the dogs out. I wanted to let them out first. Oh come on! There's no food here. Come on. Go on. Go on. There we go. They'll have some nibbles on their way out. They've been in now for a few hours. No harm. They've had water. They can munch some food now. Yay, yay, yay. Look, a gate that swings shut. And I don't have to lift to bolt. I don't have to tie with ropes. I can just bounce it. There we go. Come on. Come on, pups. Come on. I don't want you to go on the road. Maya, come on. Come on, Maya. Atta girl. Okay. We're gonna go let the sheep out. Oh, I better go check that gate over there. I'll walk over and check that gate. Make sure that gate is closed. Irony of ironies. This is a horse chestnut here. This is an ash, nice healthy ash. But the dead tree there is a horse chestnut. And we're gonna have to have it taken down because, oh dear, it is going to potentially fall on the road or my new hanging gate. And my new hanging gate is closed. Is that right, puppers? You good boy bear. So that is very annoying. Look at how dead that is. Very dead. Yikes, I missed that earlier when I had the tree surgeons here. So they're going to have to deal with that. I'll have to get them in, chop that down before the winter storms come. Anyway, this gate is hanging beautifully now into the woods, which will be grazed soon. So they drove new fence posts for me. I'll have to do the nailing of the wire onto the fence posts. But look at this. Look at 
that insect life devouring the thistles. Look at that, there again, devouring the thistles. And thistles that are eaten by the sheep. Okay, ladies, you can come out and go. The fencers have come and gone. Hey, ladies. Oh, which one is it? There we go, it's that one. You've been pushing the gate to try and get out. Come on, girls. Out of girls. Woo! Come on. Come on, Brindle. Let them out. Little bits going straight to the mineral lick. Come on, ladies. Your udders are all almost dried out. That's great. Getting close to being completely dry. And then they'll really start recovering. Yeah, I've got to catch you and treat your foot. So they've done a good job of munching in here. Oh, and before the fencers came, I managed to get, um, do a bit of the wiring. So you can see some of the wire is still here. I didn't quite get, finish it, but for the spindle that was being affected, that one there and that one there, I got the wire up. I'll have to do a more secure job of it though. Okay, there they are. Going off to graze the fields. With a gate that is not held together with bits of rope. Here you can see fleeces are being used to suppress the grass here from the spindle. There it got nibbled, that one. Yeah, that one got nibbled as well. And this red oak the red oak is thriving, which is really good. That spindle is really doing well. That one is being eaten by the sheep. They're standing on the fence and leaning over. Very annoying. And that one as well. So the spindles they can reach, they're eating. Never mind. They'll grow away from where the sheep are eating, hopefully. I better tie this gate now. at her mineral lake bucket, a little bit. Whenever I'm doing anything with the sheep, bear hangs out here, or the horses. So if I'm in the lower part of the farm, he's here waiting for me to finish. He just doesn't like sheep. Do you, bear? Come on. Good boy, we're done. Yeah. Well, I have to let the horses out. But I need to... Uh, somebody's calling some stuff for me. So I'm going to have to stick to the bar yard for the time being. <laughs> I've come to let the horses out. These guys are getting too much training. They think they're getting food. They're coming back down again as I'm letting the horses out. Sorry guys, no food, no food. I'm letting you guys out. You guys are gonna gallop off, I know.
look at you guys. There's nothing, you're not getting anything in here. Not till tonight anyway. Oh Lord, Ishka got into my orchard. Java, come back. She's tearing up all my baby seedlings. Oh, bugger. I can't, Java, Java. Oh, I forgot to put the line up to prevent the horses from, this line I didn't put up. Tearing up my lovely stone bed. Okay. Everything's corrected. And the horses are galloping back down to the field. Java, no. Good boy. But she's torn up my beautifully sewn. I had vetches and um, what was in here? Oh, all kinds of delicious legumes. And she's just spun around inside and torn it all up. My own fault, I forgot to put this fence up this fence because it runs and keeps the horses from galloping off their pathway but obviously my fault not the horses but... you all didn't even have to have me call you come on babies come on They're like going, hurry up, before the old sheep get here, put the food out, open the gate, let us in. Come on! Okay, I'll make the pouring into the trough noise. Because they're moving very slowly. And I've got impatient alpaca. Well, you're a lot of numpties. You got on the wrong side of the fence. Come on, you numpties. Ugh. Come on. Come on, Brindle, leave it. Oh, Brindle. Come on, you have to keep coming. Keep coming, there you go. There's still numpties on the other side of the fence. I am not going up to tell them how to get down here. They're just missing out.